a very warm welcome to my channel for you guys who are already subscribed welcome back and for people who are not subscribed yet please hit on the um, subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the bell icon so what are we going to discuss today as you know from the thumbnail of this video is we are going to talk about flu vaccine and why is flu vaccine a big deal it is a big deal because extensively in US and UK we are going to see a lot of flu cases like every year so I have been reading up on my journals and guess what I have the recent edition of JAMA and there is so many studies and uh, literature about flu vaccine general flu vaccine so uh, the flu virus itself is predominant during these months of fall and we are expecting that we are going to get a very busy flu season so what is going to be unique for this flu season that's what we are going to discuss today for the purpose of research i have some statistical figures that i'm going to use today and um, these are strictly taken from um, either new england journal of medicine or journal of american medical association or a peer-reviewed journal so we have um, in the 2018 2019 flu season in us we had total number of cases reported with 36.5 million out of that 490,600 people were hospitalized from the flu and there was 34,200 deaths for the 2018-2019 flu season now the amount of people who were prevented from getting the flu by vaccine was close to 4.5 million which is quite a big substantial number and guess what how many people got the vaccine 4.4 million people were prevented but the vaccine was given to at least half of the US population we still know that a lot of people have a myth they tell that if you get the flu shot we are going to get the flu when I approach my patients that you need to get your flu shot the flu season is here you have chronic condition like diabetes heart failure the patient is shaky no I don't believe in flu shot because if I get the flu shot I will get the flu so this is a very very common myth that we encounter every single day of our clinical practice it's very important to know what exactly does the flu virus have and why is people so frightened about getting a flu per se from the flu vaccine in order to know that you have to know there is two types of vaccine one we have live virus and the others we have dead virus now how is flu prepared or flu vaccine prepared so we have three types of vaccine preparation number one which is the egg based or the 70 year old uh, practice of making flu vaccine number two a cell based and number three the recombinant technology which is the upcoming technology that was approved by FDA in 2013 and that is why we have some more types of flu shots in the market so we need to know which flu shot is the best one for us and that is the only purpose of this video is to make it easier for you guys to get the flu shot or when you go to your physician or you go to Walgreens or CVS or any other pharmacy you can actually ask them what type of vaccine are we getting how is flu vaccine prepared for all these years 70 year process of flu vaccine um, the way it was prepared was you basically were given CDC or FDA gave the strain of the flu virus and we prepared this and then this was put inside the hen's eggs and that's why people who are allergic to eggs could not get the vaccine and after a while this vaccine was obtained and this was either found in a live form or the flu virus was killed and used in an inactivated form 
The live virus form is usually given in the form of a flu mist. You're absolutely right. If you get the live virus, there is a chance that you might get flu-like symptoms or maybe getting the flu because it's actually a live virus that you're getting. However, in United States, for the last 15 years that I have seen, I have hardly ordered live vaccine. We used to order flu mist for children, infants, but in my practice, since it's a more adult-based medicine, internal medicine, I don't get to order so much flu mist anymore. And I actually stopped ordering any kind of live vaccine. So I pretty much give dead vaccine. And dead vaccine cannot cause a reaction in that way. You can have like achiness or you could have feeling of tenderness where you got the flu shot, but you cannot get the flu from the flu virus because it's a dead inactivated virus. Number two. So there is other methods in which flu vaccine is prepared and they are called the cell mediated preparation. Now for the purpose of discussion, I do not think that I should go very in details about the cell mediated process because we are usually not making so much of the cell mediated process right now. The number three, which is the unique form or the recombinant form of the flu virus or the flu vaccine has been developed and this is a unique vaccine because it does not require the need of any kind of eggs for preservatives or any for the purpose of that it can be given to people who are allergic to eggs as well and why is recombinant vaccine technology so important and so unique and the reason for that is it can be prepared in mass amounts very very quickly because they do not need to be put inside the eggs so they are actually completely made in the lab and I'm going to tell you the process of the recombinant vaccine in a little bit of the details so you can understand why this vaccine is unique so to make a recombinant vaccine uh, the flu scientists first obtain the DNA of the flu virus. So once we get the DNA of the virus, this there is a protein on the surface of these virus which are called heme agglutinins or HA. These are proteins which are present on the outside of the flu of the influenza virus strand. And these antigens are unique because this is a feature of the flu virus that triggers the human system to develop an immune system to create antibodies that are unique for that virus with the help of these hemagglutinins. This DNA for making flu virus heme antigen is then combined with another virus called the baculovirus, a virus that infects invertebrates and then we have the recombinant form of the vaccine. And the recombinant vaccine is great because the recombinant vaccine can be made very, very quickly. You do not need a lot of time. So mass production of the vaccine can be done in this case. Another thing is people who have allergies to eggs or they cannot use preservatives. We can use this vaccine because this one is preservative free vaccine. Now the recombinant vaccine we have one is the trivalent vaccine, which is two type A flu and one type B flu and then now we are giving flu quad or quad vaccine in which we have two flu A strains and two flu B strains. Now another one this is surfacing this year is flu block. So why is flu block unique? Flu block is unique because it is a recombinant vaccine which has two influenza A and two influenza B viruses. Also the flu block causes less amount of side effects in people. And that's why you can safely get the flu block. People who are getting the flu block vaccine has a lesser chance of getting a reaction. You could still get a local reaction, but 18 and above, you're hardly going to get a reaction from the flu block. And this is the 
vaccine you are going to ask for when you go to the pharmacy or you go to a physician that do you guys have flu block so i want to get the flu block also the flu block is unique because it it is very rapid the virus can we can prepare the antibodies much faster than the other vaccine typically that we have used the egg based vaccine so that's the reason the flu block is going to be unique however of course this this is a general information every person every person is unique in their sense so you need to talk to your healthcare provider or whoever is giving the vaccine as to which vaccine is ideal for you now 65 and older we know the flu hits 65 and older much harder than it affects the younger population and there is more deaths from the flu in these population in nursing homes so we found a va vaccine which is going to give a better protection towards this and this is called the high dose flu so regular flu vaccine has 0.5 ml of the virus of the liquid or the uh, vaccine however the high dose flu has 0.7 it has four times the amount of antigen that is given to 65 and older population so that they can mount a better response to antibody which is going to prevent them from getting flu for that year and can save lives of thousands of people for this year i'm definitely going to highly recommend talking to your healthcare provider and talking to anybody whom you know knows a little bit about flu vaccine to find out and get the flu shot because this is going to be a unique year in which we are going to have a pandemic and the flu season and we don't know it completely but there is few studies that are looking into that there might be a cross benefit of pre preventing other types of viruses from getting this flu virus so please 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 pick up the phone to talk to your doctor or pick up the phone to talk to someone you know whom you can talk about the flu shot for this year because this year's flu shot is going to be very unique i'm going to end this video with mention of two studies that i found were substantial and important one of the studies was found in um, the lancet and the other study was found this was actually published in the lancet respiratory medicine and this was during the 2013 2014 flu season that there was about 38000 residents as part of the study and this was taken amongst 823 nursing homes in 38 states in united states and the flu zone or the high dose flu vaccine also called the flu zone was associated with a significantly lower risk of hospitalization compared with the standard dose of flu zone given in adults 65 and older especially people who who are in long term care facilities i have also found people tell me that we cannot get the flu virus because we don't get out of our house yes of course you are not going to get out of the house but you are going to meet your grandchildren you are going to meet your children who are going to carry the flu virus and you are going to get the virus from them their response is going to be stronger so they are not going to be affected that much however you are going to contract it from your near and dear ones even if you are not going out of the house so if you think that you are not going to get the flu because you are at home that's going to be entirely a wrong idea the other thing is there was this study that i found that was found in new england journal of medicine this was also done for people aged 65 and older and these people had a stronger immune response with the flu zone high dose and was effective more preventing flu in adults 65 and older relative to the standard dose vaccine because they had a higher antibody response to this flu virus so at the end of this discussion or this video i really really want you guys to make a conscious decision of getting the flu virus not just for yourself but to protect our children 
to protect our elderly from getting the flu for this year. I hope this video was useful for you and to continue getting more informative videos in medicine, health or wellness, please do not forget to subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, please do not forget to hit on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a video. I upload once a week absolutely. Sometimes I would do another one middle of the week. So please, please, please do not forget to subscribe and also please strike on the like button if you like the video if the video was informative and was meeting your purpose and also comment below types of other kind of um, stories or health information videos that you want to hear from me have a great night blessed